taking a look at Mordow. Well, not actually playing the game, but I'm just, you know, going to be literally looking at the game and the website and just saying how cool it is. Mordow is a game that I've been really excited about. Actually, I think a lot of people from like all walks of life. I know there's a lot of, uh, I guess, medieval <laughs> YouTubers. I uh, would generally review like weapons and stuff like that, getting really excited about it, all the way to RPG fans and of course, fighting game fans and uh, the MMO crowd. Jumping into Mordhau, uh, from all walks of life, it looks like this game is just kind of appealing to the sex appeal, man, of uh, freaking medieval warfare, guys. Uh, actually, chivalry medieval warfare is probably a direct inspiration of this game in many ways, and this is probably going to be the proper spiritual successor, which Mirage Arcane Warfare was absolutely not. You probably don't even know what that game is because it totally failed. Now, there have been some other games, and of course, there are some they're just pure, like, melee melee type of games out there uh, that kind of are in the same ballpark. Uh, maybe they're a single-player RPG. Uh, maybe they are an online game like Conqueror's Blade, uh, which is a little bit different. Of course, we have games like For Honor and Soul Calibur, uh, but not really. Like, uh, in terms of first-person melee combat, it was chivalry, and then we had some, like, really kind of bad knockoffs, and then now we're getting Mord How. So I'm excited for this game. Ladies, uh, this is going to be a fantastic multiplayer medieval melee game, in my opinion. And it's a genre that is underutilized, I think, especially on PC, which you would you would think, you know, the king of FPS is we would have a little bit more of that. But we don't. So Mord How, why is it sexy? Um, It's sexy because immediately it's trying to be realistic. It's also trying to focus on skill based combat. Mord How is an upcoming multiplayer medieval melee game with a strong emphasis on skill-based combat. Now, that's not to say that games like For Honor aren't skill-based. It's just they utilize a different system that is not as intricate with its execution. It's more simple with how you do very complex maneuvers, where in this game, each minute complex maneuver is literally maneuvered in first person by the player. So that is just kind of what it is distinguishing. So this game's not going to have crazy combos or ridiculous grappling quite like For Honor would or some other games like this. Uh, it's not just going to be like press a few buttons and do a whole lot. It's more like you're going to be doing a whole lot to do simple but yet very complex maneuvers. If that, you know, just like an individual moment, an individual like maneuver is something that is very in-depth, but it's still a singular move. Where in other games, that's just a single button, and it focuses more on combos or, you know, things like that, ultimate stuff. Yeah, okay, so, anyways, you're gonna be able to buy this on Steam. Or how is still in early development. Hopefully there's gonna be early access, right? I don't know, maybe. It's gonna be releasing here uh, to Steam in 2018, so I guess, I don't know, <laughs> join the Steam group so you guys can know uh, if that's gonna be hitting uh, the store soon. I will, I know, hopefully I can get into beta? I don't know, and if they do an early access thing, I will be buying into that, but, yeah. Kind of cool thing about this game, though, also is that uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, variety. I mean, to what extent the variety, I I'm pretty sure it's going to be gratuitous uh, for many players uh, based on how skill based the gameplay looks. So each individual weapon is going to feel very different, but we're going to have lots of different weapons. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to be as ridiculous as like the full historical arsenal. Like, are we getting gladiator weapons? I don't know. That could be crazy. Are we getting like Asian themed weapons, um, a lot of Kung Fu or Wuxia type weapons? Uh, probably not. But we are going to have a, I probably, I believe, in my opinion, a wealth of weapons. Uh, so freedom of choice here. We're going to be able to create our own suits of armor, picks from gloves, arms, shoulder, chest pieces, legs, boots, helmets, and more. I uh, color each piece. Cool. All right, I guess if you like that. And uh, also the metal tint. Yeah, you could be anything from a Viking to a Crusader or even an archer. So we are going to have a little bit of range thrown in there. Uh, so and different armors. And it seems like they're kind of going with different uh, styles of warriors. But I don't know if we're going to get the full global like Aztecian. You know, I don't know if we're going to be like, it looks like we can make a berserker, a Viking berserker. But I don't know if we're just moving away from European or not. Maybe that's, you know, in later in the timeline. That'd be really cool to know that information. If that's out there somewhere, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, skill based melee combat friends and family. Also, looks like Mounted Combat is going to be uh, in the future there. I don't know if that's going to be on release or, but yeah, it's definitely something that they are showing off and promoting. Chain your attacks into combos. Now, like I said, the gameplay isn't going to be focusing on just combos, but you can actually create combos. Uh, it's maybe a little bit more balletic, and it's definitely going to feel quite tiptoe-ish uh, like that with how intricate you are going to be maneuvering your mouse. It's a first-person game, so your moves come 
from actually utilizing the mouse. So watch out for that. Uh, you're going to be punishing your opponents with quick counters. It's going to be a big focus. You see an attack, you're going to be actually parrying it. Uh, push them away, you got kicks. Uh, trick them with feints, of course, and grip with your polearm closer to the head. Uh, if you want to do that, half sorting is going to be in and much more. So each of these weapons apparently are going to have kind of like different stances and you're going to be dancing between them. So I think the term bal balleticism, uh, I don't actually, I don't, I've just made up that word, I think. Anyways, I think is going to apply here uh, where you are going to be with much finesse aiming your attacks, choosing the stance for different attacks and maneuvering all in between the, the footsies is going to be ridiculous uh, with this game. It's going to be a big part. Uh, it's going to feel probably really freaking good for players who normally like the footsie game in a lot of fighting games and don't generally like being locked up into combos. Now this game, it does promote combos and you are going to be kind of uh, swiping and sweeping through with multiple attacks, but still nowhere to the degree that you would see in a game like Skullgirls or Street Fighter or maybe even For Honor, which generally, I mean, for a fighting game actually doesn't have like crazy combos, but still. Uh, this game is going to have a lot of customization, though. It seems that uh, you're going to be actually creating your own sword out of individual pieces. Now, to what extent this affects gameplay mechanically, I don't know. But hey, aesthetically, it's kind of cool. Uh, you are going to pick from different blades, cross guards, grips, and, uh, you know, different mace heads. Yeah, I guess you could do that. So uh, they definitely showcase a couple of different halberds. But yeah, I don't know to what extent that's actually going to affect gameplay, but it looks cool. All right, so. Um, one big aspect of chivalry was that it was actually a sieging game. There were different uh, anti-siege, you know, weapons or items that you could use, like a pot of tar that you could throw down and light it on fire. Uh, you were actually in castles, keeps. Uh, the, the, I guess the arenas were really interesting and varied, and so you had this really cool attack defense style gameplay very often. Uh, I really enjoyed that, and you would definitely have like catapults, things like that you could also utilize. So yeah, uh, we're actually going to have in Mordhau 64 players proper with castles that will be stormed and fields apparently just covered in blood. Uh, 64 players melee is ki kind of quite the melee, I do believe. So that's Battlefield with swords. And you know what? I think take Chivalry, take Battlefield, and make them just have this crazy baby. Uh, and maybe you're going to get more now. Because actually it does look, it looks graphically very interesting. Uh, so that's what we're going to have kind of a little bit. It looks like there's going to be a little bit of mountedness, a little bit of sieginess, uh, but definitely a big focus on that balletic, very skill-based, very specific and maneuvering uh, style like 1v1 and 2v2 style gameplay. The gameplay seems very focused on duels, right? Proper uh, duels. So uh, end them rightly, friends and family. Tell me what you guys think of Mordhau as well. And if you guys want to see the development roadmap, the website and things, I'm going I'm to have the links in the description here. But um, basically, I will just kind of run through it real quick here. Uh, this is what we can expect uh, whenever the beta comes and then moving forward, hopefully like, I don't know, early access, things like that. Um, you're going to see gameplay on YouTube and hopefully I can get into it too. But then very soon, quickly, hopefully uh, we're going to have ranged equipment into the game. Uh, that's going to be ranged armors types as well as crossbows. It looks like uh, there's going to be new animations. Voice acting is going to be thrown into the game. And as well, there's going to have, you know, the full 64 players, I believe in the beta or at the moment, maybe they don't have that. Uh, there are going to be vehicles, like I said, horseback. There is going to possibly be some other things. Ballistas are in, and there's going to be ladders. Okay, so that's pretty cool, actually, uh, that we see. Who knows what else is in the future? Proper matchmaking as well with 1v1 and 3v3 competitive matches, which is probably going to be like their eSport-ish. I mean, some people don't like eSports, but like, man, dude, eSports is hype. And a melee fighting game eSport, especially if it's tag team, would be sick. In fact, if they if they do, implement, as soon as they implement matchmaking, I'm probably going to stream this game nonstop, so... I'm just saying that I love me some big team battle, but dude, some eSport. Uh, actually, yeah, we can we can make a guild. We can make a team if you guys want to uh, team Sky Lent. Sure. No, I, I wouldn't do that. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it. And actually, at the very bottom of their website, now that I'm looking at it, I can actually see kind of a range of weapons if um, I could just kind of name a few. So obviously we have like axes. Uh, so that's going to be, you know, axes, swords, basic stuff. But we have a variety of different halberds. Also, I see a literal scythe, a literal scythe. A, and then a harvesting scythe. So it looks like some tools, a freaking pickaxe, uh, you know, a couple of different kind of bows, a couple of different kind of crossbows. And it looks like quite the wealth of swords, actually. Uh, and spears. Oh my God, dude. So many melee games don't have spears. Uh, so interesting stuff. It looks like there's going to be a large variety. Also, a freaking trident. Yeah, now, now that I squint my eyes, I'm uh, I'm seeing a trident. And wait, is that a is that a musical instrument? Anyways, regardless, guys, it looks like there is going to be a lot to do in this game. Uh, that involves you, another guy, and one of you guys dying uh, with some sharp 
ended or maybe a blunt uh, weapon going in someone's face or somewhere else. I don't know. It's going to be really cool. I want to see what, how these the variety of weapons and their different stances and how they all turn out. Or if it's like only long swords really have the extra stance or, you know, uh, certain weapons only get the extra stance. I wonder if there's a, some pros and cons thrown in there. Uh, I wonder how they're going to gamify some of these or if they're just going to go for full realism and just have some weapons be like worse off with their side weapons. Like, you know, can, can we carry like a big sword, but then we have a, a smaller sword as well? Uh, I don't know. It could be, it could be interesting to see what they have in store for us uh, for the full gameplay loop. But uh, I'm, I'm definitely on for the ride. So uh, that's more now. Uh, that's why I'm excited, basically, is just the facts of what it is. And because we don't normally have that. We haven't had that since Chivalry proper. There have been a couple other games. And of course, there's some other Melee games coming out, like Bannerlord, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, and I mean, a couple, a couple others that uh, are more magic based or something like that. But in the end, this one with its roots kind of sat in realism uh, with a realistic, balletic kind of competitive 1v1 uh, feeling, but then actually scaling that up to 64 players in sieges. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, if you guys are interested in games like this and that whole sieging style gameplay and medieval combat, I'm actually doing an upcoming list for yeah melee combat games, uh, brawlers, as well as a sieging list. So look forward to those uh, upcoming lists. Look forward to those reviews and uh, look forward to more videos like this. Subscribe and like and stuff. And I don't know, I'll try to keep you up to date with all these new games and play them as they come out and follow me here on YouTube uh, overall, because I'm going to be actually streaming more on YouTube and trying Twitch. I'm going to kind of go back and forth once again, because YouTube's kind of promoting YouTube gaming again. So we'll see. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about this game and the direction of the channel as a whole.